Hey guys, let's learn how the fill na that means fill not applicable method works in pandas. Now for this I have taken a very simple file you can see it which has a date which has temperature max, temperature min, temperature average and conditions okay on each day what was the temperature and the sunny or rainy all this condition very simple data I have. Now let's understand what is this fill not applicable. Now before we get started let's import this particular file. So I'm saying import pandas as pd and then and then let's write a data frame variable equals to and I'm going to say pd dot I want to read the csv so I will use read underscore csv and pass the file path with a R string. Now to get the file path let me use this right click and shift and right click you would get this path simply pass it. Okay now if you print this data frame it is more or less the replica of the excel sheet right or the csv data that we have. So it has got the data. Now what I am going to do I will let me save this I think I did not save this so you can see all the data are coming 60 40 50 sunny and all of it now what I'm going to do I I will erase few data okay for example I'm going to erase the temperature max I'm going to erase the temperature min and I'm going to erase the rain okay so all of this I have erased now once I erase let me save it and now if you run it what would happen shift enter now what is happening now the place or the data that I have re removed data frame or the pandas will automatically understand because there is no data here it will fill it with NAN that means not a number not a number not a number so it is filling it automatically now sometimes we don't want this NAN rather we would like to have some of our own value isn't it so how do I do it now for me to have some my own value there is a method available called fill not applicable fill not applicable so I am simply saying fill not applicable and here I will be giving some value for example I am saying unknown what I am saying unknown the moment I do this and shift enter what is happening the places where it was NAN prior to this now getting filled with unknown okay likewise you can pass your own values now sometimes you know you for example let me pass 0 let me pass a value 0 here let's say the moment I pass and do a shift enter or run it what is happening all the values are becoming 0 0.0 0 0.0 and the condition also 0 sometimes if you look at in the condition when the value comes 0 this is not very relevant data it's a irre irrelevant data right either you write unknown is still good for temperature 0 is fine okay still it's not fine but again 0 because it's a number kind of a column so it still looks okay but this is a text column condition and you are writing a 0 here that means there is a need based on each column how do you fill it right based on each, each column how do you fill it now for this all you do simply use a dictionary so write two curly braces and hit on enter by hitting on enter what would happen it will give you that enough space for you to type for example I have got multiple columns where I would like to change it the first column is temperature max so all you do simply write the column name temp dot max whatever the column name is put a colon because dictionary will have a key and a value with a colon in between so I am saying if it is a temperature max column then you assign 0 I am fine with it comma and then you are saying if the column is temperature dot min if this is the column still I am fine if you assign 0 so simply write 0 put a comma now when it comes to condition you write different something different so let me first write condition okay so ensure the column names you do not make mistake in writing the names so here I want to say unknown getting it 
so it is like column wise you you are filling it out now if you hit on shift enter what is happening here you can see 00 has come 00 has come and for the third one it has say, said unknown so this is how you will be using fill in it now there are still problems for example temperature max first it was 60 degree fahrenheit and second how can it be zero it cannot be zero it can be somewhere approximate somewhere around this right it cannot be exactly zero right now in such a condition how do i ensure these things are filled appropriately okay so there are two different methods that i am going to show you the first thing with fill in a there was i mean earlier how we used to write is something like this uh, method is equals to and you can write forward fill so what is the meaning of forward fill the previous date will say check in the previous day it was 60 degree fahrenheit so it is going to forward fill so it is going to pull that number to here copy the previous number and paste it here same thing for this column also will work same thing for the condition also it will work for example if i am going to hit on shift enter it generally uh, because this this particular method of the way i am writing it has been deprecated you have to write in a different way object dot backward fill or forward fill you have to write so how do you write this let me show you this, this way of writing is deprecated so all you do simply say the variable name and then forward fill okay forward fill that's it now if you hit on shift enter what would happen you can see this column the first row column right the second row column uh, has been filled with the previous data okay 38 and sunny sunny getting it now the same thing if you do backfill the 42 degree will come here backfill okay if i'm doing backfill shift enter now if you run this what would happen you can see 42 degree 39 degree the previous set of data has appeared over here okay these are a couple of common ones uh, which will be quite useful if you are aware of so thank you guys for watching let's move on to our next topic